Alright folks, with The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon Season 3 set to take place in Spain, I've seen a lot of talk over the last year or so on the possible introduction of Jeffrey Grimes, Rick's brother in the comics who found himself in Barcelona when the world fell. So today, I thought it'd be a fun idea to go through his story featured in The Walking Dead The Alien, and after give my thoughts on if he should be introduced on the show, and how it could be done if that is the direction they choose to go down. Now, the 32-page one-shot issue was written by Brian Vaughn, and penciled by Marcos Martin. It was originally released on April 20th, 2016, and was the first project within the comic universe to take place outside of the US. According to this interview I found on the official Skybound YouTube channel, it seems the one-shot comic was simply made because Kirkman thought it would be cool to see a radically different perspective on his world. While Vaughn, who had met Kirkman during their time at Marvel, wanted to make a story separate from what we've seen in the main series but still had a sense of importance. Thus, the alien was born. In issue 3 of the Walking Dead main series, we're given a line by Lori that talks of meeting Rick through his brother Jeff in high school, but rarely for the rest of the comic's run do we hear the name Jeffrey spoken by another Grimes, meaning his story was left completely untold, leaving tons of room for those gaps to be filled in. The one shot was chosen to take place in Spain as that was the home country of penciler Marcos Martin. And the name, the alien, obviously refers to Jeffrey as he finds himself in danger in a foreign country. But I imagine it's also supposed to poke fun at the series' origins, as it's well known Kirkman had lied to Image Comics in order to get The Walking Dead published, claiming the virus had been sent by aliens and that would be the series' big reveal. Which, thank god, he didn't actually do. But with that, let's take a look at the story of the alien and Jeffrey Grimes' fight for survival. If you're enjoying this type of content, be sure to hit that like button and drop a sub to see more videos like this. Unlike his brother Rick, Jeffrey never really had his life together. After high school, he worked construction jobs here and there to save up money for traveling in an effort to find himself, with his first stop being Barcelona, Spain, as he always had an affinity for Orwell's homage to Catalonia. However, after only being there for a few days, he got a call from a hospital in the US, breaking the news that his brother, who was a cop, had been shot in the line of duty and had fallen into a coma. But by the time the news had reached him, things had already begun to go sideways as countries around the world would quarantine, preventing any plane from flying in or out. Which is really interesting in itself, as this tells us Rick was only in a coma for a couple days before the world went to shit. But in the present day, Barcelona burns in the background as Jeffrey awakens on top of scaffolding to screaming from below, as a young child begs to be let inside a door while the dead close in. But after rushing down to help, he would unfortunately be too late as the boy would already be torn apart. But while the roamers turn their gaze to Jeff who is set to be their next meal, he would be forced to strike the dead for the first time with his flashlight, popping its eye out as he falls back in shock. However, before things turn from bad to worse, Jeffrey is saved by a woman dressed in armor who cuts down the roamer with ease, introducing herself as Claudia. And although most of Spain believed foreigners to be the cause of this sickness, she rescued Jeff anyway as he was in possession of something she needs. But after narrowly arriving back at her apartment, Claudia reveals she was a curator of a museum. And as her assistant turned and began attacking the security guards, she grabbed the armor and weapons on display before getting the F out of there. With all things considered, she seems to be in good spirits as she claims this is just another plague on a long list to come for Spain and sooner or later the people will persevere. But for now, she's trying to get to the states, as rumor has it the government had somehow found a way to contain the outbreak. I'm not sure where the hell she was getting her information, but unbeknownst to them, that was not true at all. Regardless, her plan consists of using the sewers to sneak below the decomposing streets in order to reach the harbor before using a boat to sail for Ibiza where one of her museum's largest private donors had promised to wait for her as they had a plane that will take them straight to America. And what did she need Jeff for? 
Well, his flashlight to see in the sewers, I guess. At least, that's what she claims. I'm sure the truth was she just didn't want to be alone. But the next morning, the two enact their plan by heading down to the sewer as Jeffrey comes armed with a mace. The tunnels are actually just as safe as predicted, with Jeff even having time to reflect on the boy who died the day before, referencing how he couldn't have been much older than his nephew, who we of course know to be Carl. But arriving at their destination, the dock above would be swarmed by the dead, with Claudia making a run for it while yelling for Jeff to get his ass in gear, as the roamers were slower than mud. And despite his ability to fight, it would still be a close call as Jeffrey would lose his passport and barely make the jump over the gap. But they had made it. They had gotten their boat and it was nothing but smooth sailing from here on out. However, during the chaos, nobody bothered to clear the boat's cabin, leading to a sneak attack as Claudia uses her halberd to block the roamer's bite, plunging her straight into the ocean below. Horrifically, the armor would weigh her down to the sea floor, resulting in a fight for her life while she struggles to get the pieces off, fearing both drowning and getting ripped apart as the submerged roamer begins to pursue. And just as it looks to be her end, Jeffrey would dive in to battle the roamer by hand, giving Claudia enough time to free herself before reaching out and lifting Jeff above the tides. He had repaid her for saving his life as we saw at the beginning, but as the two climb aboard the ship, dread would set in as Jeffrey would realize he had been bit on the ankle during the chaos. And as Claudia stares in shock with tears in her eyes, Jeff lets her know it was okay. He may be bleeding out, but this was the best day of his life. It was the adventure he had always been seeking and wishing to be put down when the time comes, Jeff would hand Claudia his mace. But before he goes, he requests she bring his brother Richie, or Rick as he goes by these days, a message, to let him know he was sorry he never got to pay him back for sticking up for him all his life. He never got to be a knight in shining armor, but at least he got to meet one. Rick always pulls through, so there's no doubt he will survive the hospital. And as Jeff stares back at the overrun Barcelona, Claudia asks how to find him without knowing his last name or where he lives. But she would receive no response, as Jeffrey Grimes had drifted away while leaving a trail of blood behind. Now, unfortunately, Claudia would never appear again to deliver Rick that message. But I imagine if she had lived long enough to see the Commonwealth's reclamation of the eastern US, she would more than likely wonder if the man who made it all possible, Rick Grimes, was the same man her late friend had spoke of all those years ago. But you may be wondering, if Jeffrey had died in the comics that early on, why would there be talks of him introduced in the series now? Well, of course, Daryl Dixon Season 3 being set in Spain is going to naturally bring those theories up. And the show is notorious for remixing storylines from the comics, so I don't think there's any problems there. The issue for me comes from the lack of any mention Rick has a brother at any point in the show. Even at times where that would naturally come up, like when Daryl was ready to choose blood over his found family during Merle's return in Season 3, there's no mention of a Jeffrey Grimes. The comics establish early on that there was indeed a brother out there somewhere, so featuring Jeff in a story doesn't really feel like it's forced, especially considering there's no cameos of characters we already know. I can't help but feel like it just wouldn't be natural to introduce him at this point in the show, let alone have him coincidentally come across Daryl Dixon of all people. So if it was up to me, I honestly wouldn't feature him at all without establishing Rick had a brother far earlier on. But let's say they really really wanted to adapt the alien story. What would be the best way to do it? Well I would utilize the power of environmental storytelling to set up his presence while Daryl and Carol explore Spain. Maybe a piece of armor here or there. Or an open sewer grate or maybe even a walker with one eye hanging out. Just small little easter eggs for fans to spot. Meanwhile in whatever project features Rick next, have a line where he speaks to RJ or Judith about his brother Jeffrey, who was, 
I don't know, estranged for years, or something like that. It might still feel forced, but it's better than just introducing Jeff in the flesh out of thin air. Now, it's no secret I'm not a huge fan of Tales of the Walking Dead, but if they were to take another crack at it, this would be a perfect premiere episode for a season 2. Tell the story of Jeff and Claudia that retreads the easter eggs we see in Daryl Dixon season 3, and end it the exact same way, setting up a possible future for Claudia's character going forward in the universe. Again, no matter how you spin it, I think it will be a bit contrived, but if it follows mostly the same story beats as we see in the comic, including its time period and Jeff's death, I think it could still work while giving the audience a brand new character to root for as she searches for clues that will lead her to Rick. But hey, these are just my thoughts. I'd love to hear what you guys thought about the alien in the comments down below. And let me know if you think Jeffrey Grimes should be introduced in the modern timeline, featured in a side project, or not at all. But that's gonna do it for me today, folks. As always, thank you so much for watching.